What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to fix your touchscreen not working on your Steam Deck. So mine wasn't working for quite some time and uh, thankfully, I got it working again. So I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. So onto the video itself. What do you need to do if your touchscreen isn't working? First thing you need to do is, oops, sorry. First thing you need to do is hit the uh, Steam button up here, and then you're going to use the D-pad to go down to power, and then you're gonna use A to hit power. You're gonna go down to shut down Steam and shut it down all the way. So this is gonna shut down Steam completely, and the reason we need to do this is we need to go into the BIOS and enable battery mode. You are gonna need your power cord for this, uh, but don't worry, it's a really quick and easy process. So. Once the Steam Deck is off, you're going to hold the plus sign here. So hold that down. And then while holding the plus sign, you're gonna tap on the power button, okay? So you're gonna go boop. And then you're just gonna wait while still holding that plus sign. And it's gonna load up into this screen. And if you see in the bottom right, we have a setup utility. You're gonna go over, it's a little bit hard for me to see this, but I, I don't wanna to connect to a screen. I want you to see exactly what it's gonna look like on the Steam Deck. So you're gonna to go to that setup utility and you're gonna hit A, and here we are. Now, in the screen, you're gonna go down until you see power, and then you're gonna press the right arrow so that you see battery storage mode. Once you see battery storage mode selected, you're gonna press A, and it's gonna say, are you sure? Then you're gonna say, yes, I'm sure and the device will turn off. Now, you're not gonna be able to turn this on anymore unless you plug it in for the first time. Once you plug it in, you can turn it on, and from then on, you're not in battery storage mode anymore. But what this does is it completely resets and restarts the touchscreen software or firmware or hardware, whatever it happens to be. Whatever needs to be reset um, is reset when you do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, and then we're gonna turn it back on. All right, so the console will not turn on, but once you plug the uh, power cable in, you'll start uh, the process by simply pressing the power button and it turns on just like usual. This time, hopefully, your screen will work. Uh, that's about it. Uh, Valve said that they released a firmware update that messed up the touchscreen on certain devices and a simple restart will not work, but going into battery saver mode and turning it back on will apparently uh, fix the issue and reset the touchscreen back to its uh, working order. And if we see here, I can tap on something and it works fine. Great. So that's it for this one. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. You can learn a thing or two about a new device. Unboxing kudos, we rock that pseudo. Administrative elevator command. We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech.